Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Got a free game and this one is available directly on Steam and it's received as a pretty good game. Typically goes for $15. It's the game Kabounce. Want to highlight that as it'll be available free for the next few days. Also, Fortnite profits are dipping a little bit from 2018 highs and now 2019 year over year is falling off a little bit. I want to take a look at that because that has to be in the news. With everything that's going on with EGS, one of the main reasons they're able to do all the things that they do is because of Fortnite's incredible success. I'm not saying that the game is dying by any means, but profits have definitely dipped off for that game. And also Arma 3 is getting a brand new expansion in Contact and it's bringing aliens to the game on July 25th. We'll talk that at the end of this video. First up, I know all of you guys are interested in the free game offering and this one directly available on Steam. It is Kabounce, a game that I haven't played before, but it's a relatively recent release, all things considered, given that it is a free game offering. It released a little over a year ago and it's a multiplayer pinball sport game where you are the ball. Experience fast-paced online arena combat, rack up combos and points, and score to win. Take the action offline with single-player time action parkour modes. It's always good whenever they offer a multiplayer-centric game for free, because if the player base is dipping a little bit, surely by offering the game for free, that should jolt up at least for the short term. The game notes in Kabounce multiplayer pinball sport, you are the ball. Take complete control of the ball and reach ridiculous speeds with intuitive momentum and rhythm-based movement in a reimagining of pinball. Rack up sweet combos and points by hitting bumper pins and perform spinning skill moves in short five minute matches eliminate opposing players to steal their hard earned points and score to win up to eight players online and 4v4 gameplay game is super easy to run although given the visuals it is kind of surprising that it recommends an r9 280x but nonetheless the minimum requirement is an intel hd graphics 4600 so that's going to be super easy to run and again outside of the online multiplayer you've got split screen you've got time attack cross platform play cross play support between playstation 4 and steam how about that ranked play you can play with bots match Matchmaking abilities and an original soundtrack is featured in the game as well. So again, it'll be free until June 24th at 1 p.m. Typically goes for $15, but now is available free of charge. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. All right, moving on from that, one of the major reasons that Epic Game Store has been able to make all of the moves that they've been making is because of the colossal success of Fortnite and the FU money that Epic Games has pretty much gotten since the success of Fortnite. I don't think Epic were really expecting Fortnite to be as big of a success as it was but here we are it is arguably now the biggest game in all of gaming i don't know if that's hyperbole to say that but it's definitely among the top three and in the month of May, Fortnite did really well making $203 million, which $203 million for a game to make that in just a single month, that's absolutely absurd. And that $203 million is a combination of revenue from PC, mobile, and console. So just to make sure you guys are aware of that, and it did get a boost from Season 9, but it's still far from its peak. Fortnite actually made $203 million in May. However, in May 2018, in comparison, it's actually 38% down, which is a significant drop-off. And considering it's that massive of a drop, off now i don't know the inner workings of fortnite completely i do know that a brand new season kicked off in may i don't know if last year in may there were these new skins released and everybody was buying these skins or whatever the case may be i know people are spending an obscene amount of money in the in-game items in the game and whatever the case may be but in comparison to april may is greatly up for revenue in fortnite but may is when the new season kicked off so you can point towards the new season starting for month over month gains to be what they are however if you look at year over year it being down 38 percent is quite jarring now that's not to say that fortnite is gonna die anytime soon however it does go to show that nothing is forever at some point fortnite is gonna taper off do i see that point being anytime soon absolutely not but i think epic games is fully aware of that that's why that all of this money they're getting from fortnite they're not investing it directly into just creating more fortnite content but they're also creating egs they're trying to generate multiple revenue streams even though egs from the get-go right now is gonna be a little bit of a loss now of course they're also getting backing from china so at this point, it's not just like Fortnite is their only source of revenue. They're going to get a lot of other backing, and I think financially, Epic Games is going to be quite all right for a long time. However, I did want to bring this to the forefront because Fortnite, you can arguably point to that game being the game that catapulted and kickstarted PC gaming as a whole changing. I know to some of you guys, that might be a little bit of a hyperbolic statement, but if Fortnite never came to fruition, would EGS ever happen? Would Borderlands 3, Shenmue 3, and all of these other games remain on Steam? And would the PC 
PC gaming landscape be a lot different than what it is today? And I think that is a fair assessment. So again, while Fortnite is dipping a little bit, I still see it being one of the most popular games going forward, and I still see Epic Games making a lot of revenue off of it, but it goes to show that no matter how popular a game is, at some point it is going to peak, and after that peak, it is going to taper off a little bit unless you somehow regenerate interest into the game and rise to another peak. Look at PUBG. PUBG was huge back in early 2017, and what happened? It's still a massive game today, but it's not at the level that it was back in 2017. You know, summer of 2017, I believe, was the real peak of PUBG, and at this point... Still a committed player base to the game, however, it's not as big as it once was. And with Fortnite, however, don't get it twisted, it's still making an obscene amount of money. And lastly, Arma 3 has been one of the more consistent PC experiences in terms of Bohemia releasing consistent content for the game. And now we've got a brand new expansion dropping for the game in Contact. That'll be arriving July 25th, and it's adding a significant amount of content. And it's already available for pre-order on Steam. It is going to be kind of pricey at $28. If you pre-order it, you will get it for $25. 519, and it noted, what if humanity suddenly encounters extraterrestrial intelligence on Earth? Bohemia Interactive presents Arma 3 Contact, a spin-off expansion about the most important discovery in the history of human mankind. As a soldier deployed, you will be among the first to study our alien visitors and determine their intentions. However, amid the tension and chaos, armed conflict inevitably unfolds. Arma 3 Contact's military science fiction campaign arrives together with a massive new terrain and introduces new factions, weapons, vehicles, outfits, equipment, and more to the wider Arma 3 sandbox. Again, you've got a sizable single-player campaign, a brand new terrain, two factions, five weapons, two vehicles, gear, classified intel, additional multiplayer scenarios, and so much more. So for your $28, if you are invested to Arma 3 as an experience, it is going to be worth it, as it is adding quite a bit of content to the base Arma 3 experience. If you want all of Arma 3 right now, it's so crazy. Arma 3 Ultimate Edition is 27% off, and it's still $103, which is so crazy. You can get Arma 3 Contact Edition, which includes the base Arma 3 game as well as Arma 3 Contact, but then you're missing out on a lot of other content. If you want all of Arma 3, it's just a sizable investment investment at this point, which that's a little bit of a bummer, but there is a lot to do, and in terms of investment and hours of gameplay that you'll get out of Arma 3, it is quite high, so in that sense, it's pretty good, but just wanted to give some attention to Arma 3 Contact as that is dropping late next month. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, Kabounce is available free right now over on Steam. Check that out. Fortnite profits are dipping a little bit from the 2018 high in May of 2018 to it being down 38% this year. That is a sizable drop off, but it's still making an obscene amount of money. And it's just going to be an interesting story to monitor going forward, especially how it correlates to the Epic Game Store, because at some point, if it's not making as much money as it was prior... Is Epic still going to be willing to throw out obscene amounts of money towards these exclusive game agreements? Who knows? It's just going to be an ever-evolving situation. And again, Arma 3 getting its latest major expansion in contact on July 25th. That's going to conclude this video. If you guys have a request for a future video, you can leave that in the comment section down below. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out